So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I want to speak about the Black Knife Tish and the Mimic Tia Spirit Summons. Which one's better? Which one should you use? Today guys, I hopefully can answer that question for you. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so we all know the Mimic Tia Spirit Summon is an absolute weapon of a ashes you can summon it's as simple as that for a long long time it's been thought to be the best in the game because it basically summons you it mimics you down to a t in regards to your health your weapons your armor it even gets access to your potions it revives itself well not revive itself but replens its own health this and the other it's a great great spirit summon what people like about it is is the fact it's like playing with another player it is that simple. It's like playing with another player who you can program. You program the Mimic Tear in regards to you apply what you want it to do, what you want it to wear, how you want it to work. If you want it to use the Comet Azure, make sure you've got the Comet Azure on, make sure you're using a staff and you are good to go people. Your Spirit Summon, your Mimic Tear, well then go ahead and use your Comet Azure on bosses. It really is that simple. Now in regards to leveling up the Mimic Tear Ashes, what I believe this does is raise its HP as well as damage and other resistances because I have noticed some attacks one bomb me or take a massive chunk of my health off. That same attack does barely anything to my high level Mimic Tear. I also think it does get a little smarter because I won't lie, when I first got my Mimic Tear, although he had an amazing weapon in my Blood Fang and he also had a staff, for some reason he would switch to my torch and use my torch against enemies trying to breathe fire on them and just get absolutely annihilated the more i leveled him up he actually stopped doing stupid things like that so he could get smarter with his levels i have no idea but yeah guys the mimic tier is an incredible spirit summon for anyone who hasn't got this yet and experimented with it i'll have a guide down below as to where you find this thing it's relatively straightforward but it's one I 100% recommend you getting. The Mimic Tier is unbelievable. And like I said, depending on the way you play, if you've got a tank build, you have two tank builds in battle. You can use your Mimic Tier if he's leveled up to tank even more damage, taking the enemies aggro while you lay down damage from behind or from afar or whatever. So yeah, there's way more options here with the Mimic Tier. They are basically endless. The only downside to the Mimic Tier is it costs 660 HP to use, to cast. So it will drain your health, guys, to cast this thing. It costs no uh, focus points to use, just that health. So make sure you have a health flask ready for when you summon this Mimic Tier. Okay, so the one people are comparing it to, one that's just gained a ton of popularity, is the Black Knife Tish. Now this again is an incredible spirit summon. Without doubt these two, the Mimic Tear and the Black Knife Tish, are the two best in the game I've seen so far. If there's one better, I'm yet to find it. Although I do love my wolves, but these two are like I said, just the just levels above everything else I have used. Now the Black Knife Tish is actually one that's, well I wouldn't say harder to obtain, it does require you to complete Rani's quest, which I've also made a complete guide on, which you'll find linked below. Complete that quest and you'll gain access to an area where this is obtained from, where you first have to defeat the dude who you actually summon. So once you do Rani's quest, you'll come to the Moonlight Altar, then you go just slightly to the left to the Ringleader's Evergoal, you will summon him and you'll go into his arena and you have to beat him to get this spirit summon. Now once you have it guys, you will quickly realize that this thing is OP. For a spirit summon, it is ridiculously OP. Now it does cost 132 focus points to cast in, which is by far the most I have seen. It's crazy, but you are getting a lot of bang for your buck here. The thing about this spirit summon and the difference between this and the mimic is, this thing has its own kind of mechanics, the way it moves, 
the way it avoids enemy attacks, how it's hard to hit, it's relentless, it just runs headfirst into battle, it seeks out that prey and it takes them out. It's also seemingly using the black knife, which is an amazing weapon which has that bleed effect on it. And when you watch it fight against enemies, it does just drain their health. It's also a tank when leveled up too. Guys, this thing is utterly brutal. Now I know a lot of people will be saying, you can easily just put their black knife in the hand of your mimic, which I completely agree on. You can do this, but I can guarantee you it won't be anywhere near as efficient as when the black knife Tish is using it. It's just absolutely brutal. And in my opinion, guys, that is the main difference between the two, the Mimic tier and the Black Knife Tish. I mean, the Black Knife Tish is just way more relentless in battle. It just seriously is. It doesn't matter what your playstyle is like. The Mimic tier kind of plays reserved at first. I mean, it will get stuck in. There's no two which ways about it. We all know this. We've all used it a ton. But in regards and trying to compare it to the Black Knife Tish, it's the levels below in terms of how relentless this is. So like I said, with the Black Knife Tish having his own, well, mechanics in the way in which it moves, goes about, shifts, how quick it avoids and how hard it seems enemies find it to hit. That with the added fact it only uses the Black Knife Tish, that's what it's programmed to use and it uses it to full effect. I honestly don't think this Spirit Summon can be touched in regards to what we know is in the game right now. So the question is, if I had to pick between the Mimic Tear Ashes and the Black Knife Tish, which one would I pick? Personally, for my playstyle and the way I like to interact with enemies, the Black Knife Tish 100% suits me more. But would I pick it over the Mimic Tear? Luckily, guys, I don't have to. But if I had to chase one of these first, it would 100% be the Black Knife Tish. Yes, the Mimic Tear can offer some staggering things. Yes, it's super unique. Yes, it's more customizable. Yes, you can do more things with it. Yes, it's probably more helpful in many more scenarios. But in regards to damage output, something efficient, something relentless, something you want and know you're going to get, the Black Knife Tish, in my opinion, is top of the chart for now. And there we have it, guys. My opinions on the Mimic Tier and the Black Knife Tish. In my opinion, the Black Knife Tish is the better especially for the way I play. The Mimic Tier though is also incredible and anyone who says that the Mimic Tier is better, I would not argue with you on that point. I mean, for the way in which you use it, it could be way more efficient for you, which I completely understand. On that note guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring, be sure to subscribe and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.